Yo, what is up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are back in the F-35, finally trying out the rocket pods. We actually have rocket pods on jets now, so hopefully this goes pretty well. We want a good map for it in a good jet, so we'll see how this goes. Wait, 78 damage? Whoa! Yo, they actually do good air damage. Hello? Let's see if I can hit this. Okay. Try hit this Jeep here. Should absolutely melt this. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Ram shooting lock-ons. I'm not even going to go for that. You'll have APS. They don't do that much damage, do they? Oh, the regen is so slow on them. Is this going to regen all of them at once? Oh, yeah, 16. Okay. So you have to dump all your rockets to get a, a full regen. Okay. Let's go for this bolty then. Bam! So when you finish with your rockets, just dump them all. I see. Let's go for this heli. Uh, it's hard to see right now. Wonderful become the meta to like shoot the rockets at helis rather than the cannons. Definitely do some good damage to air vehicles. Killed the jet already. I think that guy was really low health. The jet just spawned up. Force a dogfight with this guy. Try to cut this guy open. Beautiful. That's gonna put the pressure on him. And he crashed, yeah. I didn't see that happening, not gonna lie. Uh, get this guy. I mean, that's okay. The rockets really do not shoot straight. It's so hard to actually get them to go exactly where you need them to go. And they don't do any real good splash damage against vehicles and not that good against infantry, just decent. So, I don't know. Oh man, I thought I closed that angle. Oh, you, you killed yourself in one loop, congrats. Even if my aim is shit. I might be dead here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. No, unlucky. We're good though. I don't like him. You do better with the cannons against people like that. Still a cannon strafe. Oh, let's go for the tank. A is more important. Let's shoot that. 24 damage. By comparison with lock-ons, I think you would do 60 damage or 70 in that kit situation. 35 each, so 70. Let's try again, though. Am I dead? I don't like them. They have no range. I don't think they're that good. Like, this is way more range. I can hit a target. There we go. Thing is as well, like, they explode at a certain distance. The range just doesn't seem very good. And then the range on everything else, like, that counters the jet is insanely good. I think range is super important. And the fact these have so little range. And the devs have said this is intentional. They don't want people engaging from too far. But the AA can pretty much cross map you. Some maps, it's literally spawn to spawn. So 
I don't really see the balancing philosophy there. I think they do need a bit more range. Well, they need to be a bit more accurate as well. I'm finding it very hard to be consistent with them. But I can aim the cannons like this. I mean, no issues there. I think there's no one at DICE that can really push the limits of the jets, so they don't know how hard to, to nerf these kind of rocket pods and how good to make them. I think they're going to be good in air-to-air. -air. Let's try this jet. So let's cut them up and... Oh, yeah, almost. Bits. Oh, oh, you giving up? I had to go cannons there. I'm not letting him live. So I think definitely at this range, you just need to use the cannons. And it's like a three-hit kill anyway. Why would you? Okay. It's good damage against the stealth heli though. Good to know. I think if you do learn them against air vehicles, they will be really strong. But they really should be a good anti-ground option. That's what the jet really lacks. It can do well against air. It can do well against infantry if you can aim. But against ground vehicles, they can just use the countermeasures and the AGMs are kind of useless. Lucky pilot snipe. Nice. See if we can hit these guys with the pods. Damn, I uh, I gotta get used to reloading them properly. You have to empty all your pods, otherwise you literally just get like a lousy leftover mag that just doesn't really do anything for you. You need all the pods to get kills. Like, they're not very efficient. All right, is Tor Tank and spawn? Okay, he hit some mines there. I was gonna say if my pods are doing that much damage, it's like early BF four days. Must be tripping. That could be a good way to do it as well. Start with the pods and then go to the cannons, but it doesn't really make much sense. The cannons have more range than the pods. Okay, nice little one burst there. I'll take it. I still stand by the fact that I think the jet is the most satisfying way to play the game at the moment. I actually learned the jet because I felt like everyone was getting good with the Nightbird. Like, it almost didn't mean anything to be good with that thing anymore. So, picking up the jet... It's a bit new. A bit less common to see someone shredding it up with it. Hope you guys enjoy the jet gameplays on here. Yes! See if we can turn around and kill that little buggy next to the stinger. Can't see the stinger, so... Get this little thing. I'm tempting to re-strafe it, even though I don't have flares. I think I'll just go for it. One kill. Okay, there's a jet. I can't really leave a jet up without flares, even though I have them now. Should be a lot of damage. 80 damage, that's crazy. Even against jets, I don't know if it's worth using the pods. Maybe if you sneak up on a pilot you know is going to beat you in a dogfight, you can just unload all the pods and insta-kill them. Alright, this is a two kill, surely. There's no way that's one. These things are just not strong enough. I'm not gonna lie, like... I could get more kills against infantry just going for cannons only and expecting that the cannons will do exactly what they have always done. Rather than going in with the pods, and sometimes they're pretty decent, but sometimes they just really aren't. I mean, two kills with the cannons and that both those guys died in like, I don't know, 100 milliseconds. Whereas the pods, you wouldn't even be able to get your aim onto two targets in a strafe if they're that far apart. They just take too long to kill. I'm not sure what they're going at with these pods. Definitely a uh, disappointment from my perspective. I will say that the camera fixes for the jets have been pretty good though. The jet definitely feels a bit more responsive to aim right now. And having a functional rear cam is pretty good. Only issue is that it doesn't really match your 
actual camera settings. So I run the roll camera off. That's why my jet rolls around and my camera doesn't. But my rear cam is stuck to the jet, like cameras. Bit annoying, but oh well. They do good damage to all the other helis, but the transport doesn't seem to take that much, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna try to hide down here and then come back around. Maybe we can find the transport on low health. There it is. I got the save thing, so it says I saved the squad mate there. I'm guessing that's new. Oh well. I was thinking about using the pods on that guy, but I kind of want to try to find someone now, but I don't see anyone. Yeah, I'm still torn. I don't know. It might be better at this point to run the AGMs over the pods. Even though the pods are new, they're really cool. Whatever. The AGMs are probably a more sound option if you're actually just trying to be maximum effective in the jet. Which is kind of sad, because all I've wanted since release was a dumb fire secondary for the jet. Be it bombs, pods, whatever. Even a TV missile secondary, I'd take that. But this is not... This is not really good enough to justify, I don't think. I would rather them do a lot more damage, but be a lot more accurate. So, it rewards you for aiming well, but doesn't reward you for just aiming in the general area. Because I feel like with these, you just kind of aim in the general area and then just shoot the whole lot and you'll probably get a kill. So for less experienced pilots who are struggling with the cannons, you'll probably want to use these. But if you could use the cannons before the patch, then I don't see the point. And the anti-ground damage is just lacking. It's unfortunate I didn't kill that guy there, but... I should have just held my crosshair at the edge of his peak and then he would have just ran into a stream of bullets. That's the way to do that. Not the highest action game to try the pods on. Maybe I'll keep trying them, but I'm just a bit underwhelmed, guys. <laughs> oh, dogfight here? Okay, he doesn't know. He doesn't know how to space down pitch up. That'll be a quick one. TV coming in. I'll try to stay out of range. Okay, let's pop this guy here. Look how weird they aim. get these two. Or just one. You know, I would like two. Two would be nice there. I reckon bombs would have been a better secondary to add. It's all good though. Alright, there's a jet up. I'm going to try to loop around the mountain and catch the jet. I just don't want to get locked on, so. We'll zoom through here. There's a jet and it's over my spawn, so we should be safe to do this. See if we can line them up. That's a bit cheesy. Alright, I think I'm going to try to fly over and kill the transport heli. It's going to be a bit dangerous. I don't have flares, but we'll try to keep it fast. Oh, wow, they were really ready for me to do that. I killed it super quick as well. One kill isn't the best payoff either. I'm not sure if that was worth it. Alright, we got flares. Guys on the roof. Okay, we'll kill the stinger. It is nice. 
Alright, do we bank it on killing this guy? I think we do. Play the hype. Oh, what? How am I being locked at Skybox? AA, somewhere. No AA on my radar though, so we don't have to worry about it too much. My radar is 600 meters. AA is like 800 meter locked, so... Definitely been seeing a lot more attack Kellys on the battlefield ever since the update. And I think it's largely because of the new Jeep. The new Jeep has 20 mil flak on it, and that flak is like insanely overpowered right now. Against a Nightbird, it will kill it in like two seconds, and it doesn't give any sound warning. So you don't actually know that the Jeep is shooting at you unless you look at your health bar. And let's be real, not everyone does that. But it doesn't do that much damage against the attack Kelly, so... Maybe people are figuring it out, but I think the attack Kelly might be a better option at this point. I think this jet's been hit by the attack Kelly. Wow, the attack Kelly actually just rolled that guy. I got fodded. Right, two kills trade, maybe? Oh, we've been jeeped. So the black jeep just hit my jet and it did critical damage to my elevators and I couldn't pull up. That is just unfortunate. All right, wrap up the game here soon. 54 tickets left, let's see what we can do. I really don't think that that jeep should be doing critical damage like that. But that's just my take. Like I have a jeep and a tank here and I'm shooting the jeep first because the jeep is more of a priority target. I mean, what was wrong with the old Battlefield games where transport vehicles were literally just little jeeps with, you know, 762 machine guns on the roof or whatever, 50 cals. I don't see why we have to make everything just an absolute laser beam that can kill anything. And there's tow launchers on hovercrafts, black on jeeps. I really think they went way too far with the transport vehicles in this game. And they doubled down on it too. Anyways, there's our first proper game with the pods. 62 and 1. It's actually not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the round though. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the pods if you get to try them out. For me, I don't think they're that good. I think uh, the AGM is actually a more viable option. If I was playing this game like competitively or whatever, I would just be choosing the AGMs. It's the best loadout. But I'll keep using the pods. We'll see if we get better with them. But until next time, guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.